Hello guys and girls and welcome to another tutorial on note concept from Blender file. I am Raj Kishan Ghosh and today we are gonna learn about camera data. So as you may know we can make mist and other atmospheric effects using volumetric shading but it's just slow and noisy as hell. Also we can use the mist pass or the z depth in the compositor to fake the mist. But what? If we need closer objects to interact with the mist, for example, say a translucent object from which the mist is showing through or a mirror reflecting the mist, the compositor isn't very helpful in these cases. Also, we can't see the effect in viewport. These are the situations where the camera data is helpful. To get the camera data node, we press shift A, then input and then camera data. The camera data has some values and a vector output. Let's talk about the values first. The view z depth output acts as the z depth in the compositor with a factor of 0 near the camera and a factor of 1 as it goes more and more distance. So if we see the camera from top view then the value will be a linear gradient from black for the center of the camera to a white at some distance. Now the factor can be used to mix any shaders for desirable effects. Next is the view distance output, which is almost like the view z depth output. The only difference is that instead of a linear gradient, the value is a radial gradient acting in all the directions. The resultant effect when viewed from the camera is almost same as the view z depth and we can use either one as per our need. Also we can tweak the values using a multiply and an add node. The multiply node will influence the depth and the add node will influence the location of the value. Last but not the least is the view vector output. And special thanks to Omar Ahmed for helping me out with this. If we pass the vector through a separate RGB node, we can see the red, green and blue channels separately. The red value is the amount of distance of the point in the horizontal axis from the center of the camera. Similarly, the green value is the amount of distance of the point in the vertical axis from the center of the camera. The bottom and left areas are black because they contain negative values. The blue value is the amount of distance from the center of the camera the object is as seen from the camera, somewhat like the z depth. One thing to remember here is that the vector is normalized which means that the more an object gets red, green or blue value the less the other two values become. One last thing that needs mentioning here is that in the viewport even when we don't look through a camera object the screen of the viewport will act as the camera for the camera data influence. If you like the video you may like or subscribe us. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.